in terms of understanding the difference between facial palsy and facial weakness secondary to a stroke, well, firstly, a stroke will occur suddenly, whereas idiopathic facial palsy or facial palsy where you don't know the cause or Bell's palsy usually will come in, come in over hours or days. It will not occur suddenly. The patients might be different. Um, very, very typically, the patient with idiopathic facial palsy or Bell's palsy may have some warning. There might be pain behind the ears. There may be hearing changes. Um, they may hear, the hearing may be louder in, the, in that ear. There may be taste changes. The facial weakness is isolated. It's just the face that's weak. There are no other clinical signs. There are, there's no double vision, no weakness of the limbs, no unsteadiness of the walking. The most crucial difference is the examination. A trained examiner will be able to tell the difference because very typically in a stroke, the upper part of the face is preserved. So patients can still raise their eyebrows and close their eyes with a stroke. Whereas in a facial palsy, secondary to Bell's palsy, the whole face is weak and they will have difficulty with all of the muscles. This reflects the different inner patterns of innovation um, from a stroke to, to patients with Bell's palsy.